Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Elix, um, where we're still not quite done talking to Zardom now that we've finally reached him. Um, all right, yes, um, there's one thing. I think I mentioned uh, that uh, loading screen text last time that reminded me of maybe using my my uh, faithful drone companion one of these days. Um, this time I had an interesting loading screen text about Comrade. Our friend who uh, is back with his cleric friends now, and uh, it it explicitly said that um, he was he had been working for the clerics this whole time, and uh, that Big Bang was never the bomb that he had promised, but was in fact was instead secretly just a combat robot meant to take revenge on the the outlaws. It just specifically says that says that. I mean, I guess that's something we technically only learn, or we're going to learn once we go visit him in the heart and talk to him, presumably. But, I mean, it's interesting that the game just basically spoils it for you. Um, nasty? Oh, right, because she's... Oh, yeah, of course. Wow. I completely forgot about her, somehow. Of course, she's the one that we know uh, is gonna be the the cleric's field commander. Even though it's... Yeah, I, I don't know. It still doesn't feel quite right to me, but I guess that's the only solution here. Um, unfortunately, it seems like the game is not actually going to give you multiple choices. Also, hmm, I never did look up if I just happen to uh, screw things up with Thorold, or if he's always going to be hostile. I mean, it, it, it seems it seems wrong to me that this person who, you know, who supposedly is um, meditating to find a peaceful... I don't know. What, what exactly is he meditating for? To... to, to be granted a vision um, on how to lead the berserkers into a better future or something like that. I mean, he seems like a spiritual type, and you know, for him to just basically aggro me on sight and, <laughs> and start shooting me without even be, being willing to talk to me at all, even now that I've you know that I'm officially one of his highest ranking, uh, one of the highest ranking members of his of his own faction. Not to mention a kind of important person in the overall political scene. Uh, yeah, it seems seems wrong to me. I mean, it's it may be very very much intentional, and it may not actually matter. I don't know if he's going to be involved in any major quest lines later, or if he is, maybe he will automatically turn friendly again as soon as um, that becomes necessary. I, don't know, I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah. Also, my my thoughts are jumping all over the place and, you know, I hope I'm making some kind of sense during this whole thing. Well, anyway, yeah, uh, the Conrad thing is, uh, well, it, it is basically what I had what I had assumed. It's just interesting that the game spoils it for you. Um, also, yeah, we're not done talking to Zardom, so let's finish that off. I guess we can basically, we're done... Um, going back and forth, <laughs> asking each other questions that only get answered with uh, with more questions. Um, but now we can brag about our exploits and successes. And interestingly, Kaya seems to be pretty instrumental or Im you know, kind of important to maybe the overall storyline. I have taken command of Origin, and you can see the value of my advice. That place makes an excellent base for you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm still not convinced of that, actually. Are strong when they are well led. And now you have won that group over, perhaps others will follow. Well, maybe. Good. But I get the feeling you have more to tell me. Uh, whoops, I didn't start my timer in time. So we're, I don't know, we're only a couple of minutes in, so... I'll try to keep that in mind. Um, right. Yeah, let's talk about Kaya. I have recruited a powerful mage from amongst the Berserkers. Her name is Kaya. Good. And were you able to win her over to our cause? She wouldn't have come here otherwise. <laughs> yeah, that's nice so that she actually pipes up her. there. Well, I hope the stories of her powers are true. Y you know, you could be addressing her directly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's... She's on my side pretty firmly. The Berserker mage Kaya will help us. So, you oh. are the powerful now mage talks, I have heard of. Do you want a demonstration? <laughs> no. Jax's word is enough to vouch for you. 
We will need to call upon you when we face the Alexators. Interesting. Good. Was there anything else to report? Oh, plenty. Well, okay. Apparently only two. Wait, the converter in Northern... Oh, right. We, I guess we're going to report on each uh, converter individually. That's fine. The Duke of Tavar's bomb was really a fighting machine. Well, okay, I guess... I didn't even see this before, but... Uh, yeah. I mean, I d didn't fully understand whether it was actually a, a nuke. You know, wh whether it was actually also a nuke that just happened to have some, some amount of... Uh, self-defense mechanisms built into it, but apparently it was really only a fighting machine. The Duke of Tavar's bomb was really a fighting machine. He developed it with a cleric prisoner with the aim of attacking the Horde in Ignadon. Developed? Does that mean the danger well, is now gone? I mean, the Duke yes. didn't know it was a fighting Good. machine. Then we have one less threat to worry about. Good. Do you have anything else to tell me? The converter in Northern Abessa has been deactivated. Well... That was faster than I expected. <laughs> yeah, I mean... No doubt the Ice Palace will be considering their response. You have made progress, but there are still things to be done. You sure? I will be here waiting for you like once you have completed taking out more the tasks. Converters? Make your preparations. Meet really? here again later. Wait, you're not interested in... the other converters? Because I took out... Well, this is the Northern Abessa one that we're talking about. It's, it is the closest to him, so maybe that makes sense that that would be the one he's immediately interested in, but the Southern Abessa one is also deactivated? Well, the Eden one was never functional to begin with. Or, at least, not during the time the game takes place. Um, the Tavar one is also deactivated. You'd think that he would like to know about those, but um, I guess not. So, what what actually is there left to do? Zardom's battle plan. I want to go to Zekra to find Kallax, sure, yeah. Um, but I would stand a chance right now. There is much more uh, to getting in than overcoming the locks and elf soldiers. But, I mean, those are also there to overcome. Zardom must afford to help me, but wants my assistance with his plans. I don't have a choice. I want to get into Zekor. I will need Zardom's help, sure. Oh. Interesting. The elves seem to be preparing to invade North... Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Invasion. Um, okay, that's not a huge force, honestly. Should be able to deal with that, no problem. Death of a genius. Angry at Conrad's betrayal, Logan the Duke of Tavar wants th th this traitor dead. Oh, and that is not... wait. I think we had this quest before. Uh, we had the quest to track down Conrad, but it was not filed under Zardom's battle plan, obviously, because we hadn't... We didn't know about that before, so it's interesting. Quests can be moved around, I guess? And... Sort it differently, according to the overall progress? Uh-huh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean... He wants him dead, sure, but, I mean, we're not going to go there and to kill Conrad, right? I guess that may still be an option in case we, we do want to to help the Duke for some reason. Elexitra on the hunt. Ah, yes, Elexitra Repox. <laughs> okay. Has learned I'm still alive. I need to stop him before he reports my presence to Zaycor. I mean, don't they have radio? Uh, wouldn't he be able to to make that kind of report within seconds? As soon as he sees me coming or, you know, notices that things are going south for him? Because obviously that's what's gonna, going to be happening. Um, well, anyway. Uh, I suppose we take care of that first? Oh. Oh, he's hanging out by that place. Interesting. Well, good thing we already took care of the Reapers. Reapers? Reavers. That used to be hanging out there. Um, oh. Oh, okay. They're there, beginning to march. Are they moving? Yes. So maybe I should try and intercept them from here? Ah, I guess I, I can actually move from here. Yeah, let's start with that. Although that might be a quite a mess. I mean, it's not that many enemies, but if they're all relatively close to each other, that will become pretty messy. We should go. It's Do dangerous we here. know anything about your next... No? Uh, your next Elix source? I guess not. Well, I said I wanted to to uh, use Crony as a companion for whatever I do next, but uh, I think 
I don't know. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to warp away and warp back here. While you know, there is this Alp force that we're technically. Oh, whoa! I thought I rolled in time, but I guess not. You jerk. Well, that sucks. Oh well. Let's drink one of our 90 potions. 91, I suppose. Wait. Oh, okay. The count didn't go down until after I drank the potion. Interesting. Um, more enemies? What? Oh, oh, you're... That was not a rock. <laughs> that was actually a snow claw. There we go. Oh, what? Enemies all around? Holy... Where do they all come from? Um, also, yeah, why was I locked onto the other one and not the one much closer to me? Kaya! Oh, wow, she actually killed it just by herself! Stupid terrain differences. Oh, god, what what is going on? That is the roll button. Okay, for a second there I really wasn't sure I was pressing the right button. No, it's just that, for some reason, my character is moving extremely... I don't know, stiffly today. Has there always been this much of a delay? Interesting. I don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with the game, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. You having fun? Um, let me kill that one. And this one. God damn it. Yeah, I don't know why... It's it's not been that long since I played this game, but somehow everything movement, c combat specifically, that's a that's a troll. Feels so stiff and unresponsive. Can I? No, nope, I cannot. That's uh. Hmm. Please come over here. Wow, that's not dealing any damage. Holy shit. Oh, what? I was just about to comment on the on that rock not actually, you know, tracking me like they usually do. And then it dealt damage even though it didn't even hit anywhere near me. Wow, these arrows did not bother this guy at all. Pretty impressive. I guess this is one of the strongest enemies we've encountered. Oh, is this gonna be enough? No, no. Because I opened with a strong attack. Shouldn't have done that. Uh oh. I might be dead. Uh, maybe not. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, 360 experience. Definitely the highest amount for a single enemy that we've encountered. Can we get past here at all? Yes? Um... Okay. Yes, there's another one. Come over here. Or not? You're not coming? Okay. There we go. There we go. Huh? Another snow claw. Will you come over here? Maybe? Oh, whoa, this is water, actually. It's also pretty dark. Is it actually late, or is this just a poorly lit area? Look out. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I would like to check out whatever this... This troll might have been guarding, but... Uh, Constantly taking frost damage. Doesn't sound great. Let's see if I can find anything. This almost looks looked like chests at a distance. Oh, okay. Well, there is some stuff, but actually, well, energy cells, I guess. That's it. Is that worth it? Not really. Not really. Um, right. 
Oh, hello there. Patron? Get staggered, please! Oh my god. Hmm, weird. I mean, they use the same basic uh, attack animations and whatnot. The same basic model, I suppose, like, as the trolls and other similar enemies. Uh, where's the body? Did it disappear? Can you not loot in the water? Well, it's a bummer. Oh well. Uh, yeah, but they seem to stagger much less easily. Even though they are much more fragile looking. Oh, gold vein, okay. I wonder if these elves are actually far away now at this point. No, they don't seem to have moved much at all. If at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think they're actually moving. I mean, obviously they're just basically waiting there for me to come and kill them. Not much of an invasion, really. Maybe they're still waiting for their final order to attack. They're not by this installation there. Nope. Okay. Strictly on the road. Should be able to make it down there. No problem. They're also a little bit spread apart, thankfully, so it should be possible to fight only a couple of them at a time, like those there. Well, there are still quite a few of them. Oh, actually... Hmm, they're not spread out as far as I thought. Oh, this is gonna be messy. Maybe I can get... Maybe I can still separate them a bit more than they are right now. Oh, the Elk Commander. I'll get him. <sighs> Doesn't seem like the, f the guys further back are necessarily coming. No, no, it seems like only this group here. Okay, uh, why did I stop attacking? I Also, my stamina is not fulfilling at all. Is the game actually back? Oh no, okay, I was... I had some kind of status effect. Oh, these are robots, okay. Nope! Whew. Roll over there. Weird, what, what was that? Oh, also... <laughs> I don't know why I just uh, chose this moment to, to remember that I had the jetpack attack, but... It felt appropriate to use it. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Well, that was uh, not great, but um, could have gone much worse. I mean, technically, the commander should be... Oh, okay. Hey there. Fireballs. No, not fireballs, but... Oh, god, my god, flamethrowers, I suppose. Holy crap, don't stun lock me, please. Please! Wow, the range! What the hell? What the hell are those things? Those are not flamethrowers, what the... My god. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I mean... I, I suppose I can maybe still win this, but... Uh, this is kind of ridiculous. How are you supposed to normally fight this, this kind of thing? Okay. I mean, I deal a ton of damage at, this, <laughs> at a distance. So long as they're not moving. That is, like... Jesus. Nope. Well, I guess Kaya is doing some good work there. I guess she's getting stun locked less than I am. I also dealt some damage. Wow. Uh, what else is left? There's still so many... So many yellow marks on the map. Including up there. Uh, well, I guess I'm burning through these potions pretty quickly. But that's fine, that's what I got them for. Oh, wait. I didn't look for a second, and the enemy that used to be up there is... 
You know, over there somewhere? Shouldn't I see him? At this point? Oh. No, I do. No? The... What is happening? The raider is... Acting up. <laughs> Not making much sense. Oh boy, that's a large group. Okay, explosives would be nice here, but... Uh, I mean... Uh, can I not? No, what? Oh, uh, that's how it works. Um. At least no flamethrowers? Oh god. Nope, nope, but they're unfortunately pretty precise with their shots. Whew. Okay. Um, drink a potion? I'm not, I'm not in cover here at all. <laughs> oh god. Uh, now I kind of am. Okay. Um, sword. Fuck you. Whoa. Um. Well, I, uh, I would have liked to help you, but you kind of blocked me there. Nope. Height differences, but this time it somehow worked out still. Okay, that guy's dead. Isn't there another one? There is, but he lost interest. Let's change that. Suddenly there are enemies behind us? Uh. <laughs> okay. There we go. Huh? Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, do they stay? I guess they stay yellow until I loot them. I didn't see that before. That also doesn't make sense. Do they have any quest items on them? No. I mean, I suppose it's convenient to make sure that I don't miss any loot. All right, only three or so left. Yeah. I mean, okay, safe. Criminal scum. Well, yeah. Basically, that's what they are. According to us. Oh. Nice. Okay, that was that. I didn't actually die. Did I? No. Huh. Who would have thought? Alright. Um, Alp Invasion Force dealt with. Really, not so bad. I mean, people always make them up, make them out to be uh, a huge threat. But I mean, if a single a single guy can uh, basically stop one of their attack parties. They don't seem that bad. Um, Elixir on the hunt. Right. Uh, I guess this is the closest. So let's deal with that guy real quick as well. Uh, actually, hold on. It's just a matter of a couple extra seconds, so let's go ahead and pick up Crony. I mean, it's possible that Kaya's next uh, quest step, because I'm Pretty sure we're not done, right? Actually, let's check that real quick. Companions, new findings. Yeah, okay. So she's still looking. Go back to Arjun, please. Okay. Uh, Crony, hey, hey, buddy. Follow me. No. Not even a confirmation. Ah, okay. Um, I did use up my mana. Ah, I guess I can rest. Do you have anything to say? Uh, not to you. You seem emotional. That will impair your judgment. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks for your input. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's rest. I also have a new map piece, I'm pretty sure. So let's put that into place. Oh, uh, like here. Okay, well, Danger still so many to go. go. 
Uh, what? Come on. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Kaya's quest. Uh, obviously not completed yet. Uh, but since she is apparently important to the storyline, to attacking uh, Zekor, it's possible that progressing with Zardom's questline will end up unlocking another... Um, the next step in her questline as well. But we'll see. This place should be clear, right? These combat robots were, were only here because we didn't kill them the first time around, I think. Yeah. Alright, that's good. And the Alexator is supposed to be up there by that ruin that we've already cleared. Oh, okay. There's a new big guy. I was... Not necessarily planning to shoot this one, but actually, I almost can't. <laughs> well, I almost successfully. Oh, don't glitch around there. Almost successfully dodged out of the way before it attacked me. Almost, but not quite. Okay, and the Alexator is just gonna be standing. Yep. By that gate. Am I supposed to just attack or is there some dialogue? I'm I'm not automatically targeting him. Which leads me to believe that he is technically still friendly. Oh, so, okay. Then the room is interesting. True. Commander Jax, you're still alive. A Lexeter Repox, I assume. You were nothing more than an ammunition carrier when I was still commander. Huh. And now you're nothing. In my death helped you improve your position within the Ice Palace. Loyalty counts. There are those who saw your downfall coming. They were proved right. And you hmm. just happened to get promoted. Should I think that's a coincidence? I still can't understand why you betrayed the hybrid. I was the one who was betrayed. Keep telling yourself that. So, how should we do this? Will you stand there and accept your fate? Or will you fight for your life? I'm not dying until I've had answers. What will Kallax say when I report to him that I've corrected his failure of your execution? Your brother will be done for. It will not come to that. What is dead should stay dead. Okay. Um, well, oh, crony, crony, excuse me? What the hell was that? You traitor. Um, I'm almost tempted to reload and see if I can just shoot this guy, you know, before even talking to him. But I suppose this is better. Okay, well, apparently I'm killing things with my bow now. It is pretty good. Um, well, that was that. Death of a genius. Well, since apparently this is also important to to Zardom somehow, let's go ahead and talk to Conrad, I guess. I mean, the Big Bang is gone, either way, no matter what it used to be. So, I don't know what, why Zardom really uh, worried about it in the first place. And much less why he should be interested in uh, what's what's happening to Conrad now that the whole thing is over. But apparently he cares. Conrad is in the in this assembly area. Kind of makes sense. Well, that was a hell of a plan there in the fort, wasn't it? <laughs> Did you see the show? Hey, Big Bang didn't let me down. I think I flat out did myself there. I'm proud of her. Uh, put a weapon of mass. Yeah, but but it wasn't a weapon of mass destruction. That's the thing. So was it a nuke or not? Because uh, it has been said multiple times that it actually was not a nuke. I don't know if the game really knows what it's trying to to tell me here. 
You put a weapon of mass destruction in the hands of outlaws. A weapon that would destroy them. The Duke working to wipe out his own men. <laughs> Come on, you must see the justice in that. The humor, it was... Hilarious. Yeah, except it didn't... It didn't get to attack any outlaws at all. It only fought me. What? What's the problem? You didn't die. Oh, no. You destroyed my masterpiece instead. Yeah, sorry about that. The Duke unleashed that power on Ignodon, or did I? Mean, yes, what? I built it. But he knew what he wanted, and he would have found someone else to do it. Ignodon is a crater, and Tavar is all powerful. How is that good for anyone? You should be thanking me for trying. Yeah, but that even then, that thing wasn't particularly powerful, even as a combat robot. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't uh, even significantly more powerful than the than these battle mechs that are literally everywhere. So I don't really get the point. <laughs> Maybe this guy is just crazy. The Duke wants you dead. Yeah, I mean, pfft. why should either of us care? What are you doing now? Take a break and do some thinking. It's gonna take something else to follow up after Big Bang. So yeah, I maybe a create a real Big Bang or planning. actually uh, don't. Although, huh? What? That's it? Okay. The Duke wants you dead. Yeah, I bet he does. If I was him, I'd want me dead. I guess I'm lucky. I'm free. Okay, that's that. I don't even get the option. I mean, I suppose I can always just go ahead and attack him if I want Life to. Life is a prison, and we all serve our time. Uh, I mean, he's still highlighted for the quest, though. Um. Uh. Are we supposed to go talk to the Duke and tell him that we're not going to hunt down Conrad for him? I'm... This game never will never cease to confuse me. Uh, yeah, I mean... Sure, this quest is here, but I can't really do anything about it. Unless I decide to just attack him and kill him, but I have no reason to do that. I mean, I don't really understand why I needed to fight and destroy B the Big Bang. Why well, there wasn't even an option to let it attack the outlaws. I mean, it, the Duke basically had it coming for trying to, to force Conrad to build a Big Bang for him to destroy the, the clerics. Would have been uh, only fair. Well, not maybe not to the rest of the outlaws who probably didn't really know about that plan or had any say in it, but, uh, you know. If that thing had just gone ahead and attacked the Duke, I wouldn't have stopped it. But instead, it fought none other than me, and now it's gone. Yeah, so that whole plan kind of went up into smoke. But Conrad doesn't seem particularly concerned, so... Yeah, I don't know, man. Um... Yeah, I guess I can go back and pr and talk to the Duke. Oh, yeah, also... Wait, this is not where the Duke is. This is... Um... There is apparently... A little bit more to do with the... Um, with the new Gatekeeper drone. Analyzing. Old world defensive platform for engaging aircraft from the surface. Current status. Growing for local ruler. Yeah, thanks. I knew that. Analyzing. Registering high levels of testosterone and <laughs> adrenaline amongst the local population. Advise caution. Yeah. Fair enough. Hmm? Crony? Oh. There you are. Actually, Crony's comments are probably going to be pretty, uh, pretty interesting. And maybe they'll, maybe he'll have a little exchange with this drone here, with his colleague. Hello. Bolt. What? Identify yourself. What do you want from me, you bucket of bolts? Bucket of bolts. Identification invalid. Valid identity is required to enter this area. Identify yourself. Looks like he's trying to leave. What the fuck? I've had this problem before. In. What the fuck? Identification invalid. You got five seconds to get the fuck out of my way. Fuck out of my way. Identification invalid. Identify yourself. Or supply 2,000 shard and 2,000? What? 2,000 shards? Are you fucking nuts? Fucking nuts invalid. Initiating subject termination. Whoa. Hey! I'll take care of that thing. What? 
They're actually fighting. Um, I don't really want to get involved. Achievement unlocked, careerist. Excuse me. What now? Uh, I didn't. What quest was that? I didn't pay attention. Oh no, I missed it. Uh, did the quest get completed or or uh, um, abandoned? Routine running without error. Yeah, I can see that. Huh. Well, I mean, he had it coming. <laughs> he shouldn't have spoken back. Uh, where is the where is Cutter? Was he up here? Um. Oh, actually, wait. Did he just go to the bar? You might be right there. Some things just take time. Oh, it's Vance. Completed molecular scan. There are high concentrations of distilled alcohol. Some have a high probability of causing so. temporary blindness and cranial pain. Uh huh. That's the idea. <laughs> Okay. The robot that replaced you is killing people. Yeah? <laughs> then it's doing its job even better than me. <laughs> that's gotta be good, right? See you later. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if it... If that's really... Well, okay, I mean, it's not... Not my problem, I suppose. Huh. Tavar? Scary... Oh, oh, yeah, I never did this. Right. That's something else I wanted to... Finish here. Exactly. Uh, yeah, uh, look around here more, look around these structures. I guess I might do that. I'm um, also going to go visit the Duke now. Um, who is... Oh God. Who's over here? So I'm gonna use a quick teleport. <laughs> what? Oh. Now I can tell him this. Huh. Why did you want to destroy the Horde? The balance of power. With them gone, we'd control all the technology this side of Zaykor. It's not like those Berserkers want it. And with the clerics gone, the Albs should take care of the Berserkers for me. And, and then you what? believe Conrad would destroy his own kind? Oh, he's pretty damn convincing. <laughs> I've not been caught out like that for a long time. Take care of Conrad yourself. Get the job done. Or get the no. fuck out of Tavar before I have you flayed alive. Go get out and find him if you know what's good for you. Far reaching consequences. Uh oh. Huh. Interesting that that quest is cancelled now. I mean, I, why wasn't I able to tell him that before? Because I'm pretty sure that I tried talking to the Duke after this whole Big Bang business and there just wasn't any dialogue with him. Yeah, and why was this thing filed under Zardom's battle plan when it was really only the Duke's idea? Strange. Just just strange. Um well. The Duke is pissed at me, that's fine. Dark is cheap. Yeah, yeah. At least in theory, but you know, in practice I don't really see a difference at all. Which is probably better. Okay, uh, please run. There we go. So we want to head over... Well, over in this direction. And probably start with those ruins there? Yep. Pretty much. Well, what's going on? Uh, did a mine blow up? Hmm. Not sure. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just a desert devil. Nope! Ah, oh, I got that. It's a little bit too late. Too much hesitation. Oh! 
Thanks, crony. I never see it attacking. I guess it's not actually shooting, but using some kind of... I don't know, instant... Um, shocking attack or something. Hmm. So long as it is fighting and dealing damage. Of course, I don't really care how like exactly it's doing it. Confusing and brittle terrain. Huh. Confusing and brittle? Uh, maybe. I can fly, though. That's okay. I don't care about terrain. Hmm. That seems pretty deserted. Oh, there four houses. Hanging there. Road to Kalan, the fifth clue. Okay. Something hanging with that glitch again. Um, let's see here. Four houses. Wait, didn't I get four houses part five just now? one, huh? Um, huh. What is that? Where is that? Almost looks like uh, with those red trees there, like it could be in the Valley of the Dam, but where's that settlement? Huh. Not sure. Sleeping bag, huh? Well, I guess. Why not? Analyzing structural integrity. Huh. Better not. Whoa, what? <clears throat> Freaking grenades. Okay. Oh, hi, hi. Nope. No. Why do I have such a hard time dodging this time around? So is there anything worthwhile here at all? I guess I I mean I already picked up a quest item, I suppose. Which makes it kind of unlikely that there is anything else of any real importance to be found here, but we'll see. Not here. Oh, what is this? Nope. Ow. What? Where? Oh, okay. What? How? How did that happen? What? What is this? An ancient coin? Oh. Not worth it. Okay, so apparently collision for this pillar only works in one direction or something. Interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's... Crony, please. Wow. Is it just me, or is Crony actually blocking me, blocking my path more often than other NPCs? Ah, uh, probably. Initiating area scan. Yeah, yeah. Detecting high levels of obsolence. <laughs> ah, okay. Almost. Yeah, if you wanna... If you wanna... Get your attack in before these these raptor types can start their attack combo. You have to be on the money. Wow, I'm I mean I'm not taking any damage anymore from these mines, but I'm also no better at actually spotting them. What's next? This, whatever this is, this looks pretty interesting.
Please, no more mines. Actually, trying to look around now. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, hold on a sec. Huh. Okay, Harkmut is actually... Maybe up in these mountains? Seems like it. Oh yeah, okay, there's something. Not sure this is the official way up to whatever that is, but it works. Climb, please. No, no, don't jump down. You, what? What the hell was that? What was that series of events? It's not how that was supposed to go. There you go. Now you can climb. Wow. Okay, you guys are pretty well hidden. The map doesn't really... Oh, actually the map kind of does show something here. If you actually pay attention. Interesting. Propaganda. Oh. Yeah, that seems like the same kind of cleric propaganda we've seen we've seen before. Lifeblood, whatever. Okay. Halt. Hi. Who are you? What's the password? I don't know the password. I don't know the password. And yet you expect me to believe you are who you say you what? are? I haven't said you anything yet. Our ground. So I will ask you again. How did you find us? You didn't ask that before. What the hell? You're acting like there, like some some kind of conversation happened before that, but it didn't actually happen. Frank gave me your coordinates in the fort. Frank, it's you not quite correct. To him. I've been trying to hatch a plan for days now to work out how to get him out of there. Well, I mean, technically it wasn't Frank, but uh, you know. So. Do you want to know how Frank is doing? Do I want to know if he's been tortured? If the outlaws have starved him? If his belief is being challenged every day? I know how the outlaws treat their captives. That's exactly why I want to get him back. Well then... Can I help you get your man back? Right now I'll take whatever help I can get. See, now I we're talking. I get Frank home safely, and I fear if I go in after him, I'll just get him killed. You probably stand more chance than us. Probably. The outlaws are used to people passing through. I welcome all in the name of Prophet. It's not like they'll trust you, but they'll allow you in. Yeah, I mean, I've been in there plenty of times, so... What's your plan for getting your men out of the fort? Well, we can just ask them. The outlaws aren't going to suddenly start abiding by old agreements from the Great Council of Magalan. Elixir is the only thing they respect. If we offer enough... The Duke should agree to set him free. Okay, so where's the problem? Give me the money, I'll hand it over. Problem solved, right? The Great Council of Magellan? Yes. That was almost 100 years ago. There was constant warfare that threatened to destroy us all. It was the clerics who brought all the factions together to sign a non-aggression pact to save us all. You know peace reigned for almost 40 years? But during that time, each group was increasing, growing in size, becoming more committed to their cause. It just made the next war the bigger. Hmm. Why doesn't anyone keep to the pact now? Because as a species, we're actually pretty damn dumb. <laughs> and I'm True that. I'm the clerics here. In those days, the clerics were fighting the berserkers over an elix deposit. They needed it for their mana. We needed it to drive our machines. When we weren't able to reach agreement, weapons began to speak instead. And there's been war ever since? The Horde assumed the war would be short. Back then, we didn't know the power their mana could unleash. 
We were arrogant. We assumed the technology we'd stockpiled, the weapons we developed would be enough. Then Berserker's magic grew stronger, until one battle where our machines failed. Whole squadrons of our troops were wiped out. We haven't recovered from that defeat, even today. Hmm. So it was the Berserkers who... who, um... caused these, these heavy losses that the clerics are still suffering from. I don't... I don't know if we knew that before. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the Outlaws must have played some kind of role, right? You left the Outlaws out of your story. Because they aren't worth my breath. Hmm. They were violating the resolutions almost as soon as the Council had made them. Their attacks mostly consisted of small raids. But it was only a matter of time before they tried something bigger. I've heard enough. Good. Let me know when you're planning to head to the fort. We have I mean, to free our man. I can return there any time. Yeah, exactly. Give me the Alexit. I'll pay to get your man out. Very well. I'll put our man's fate in your hands. That Elixir is going to buy the freedom of my friend. Don't let it go astray. A thousand charts? Hmm. I could just keep that. Why are you here? To find out what's happening. Ever since the Duke took over here, the lines of communication with Ignadon have been shut down. Baxter might have been a maniac, but at least he talked to us. Now, this Duke and his men, they came out of nowhere and they destabilized the whole of Tabar. We want to know if he's a threat, or if he'll start talking to us. Calculating probability of success for mission completion. I don't want your analysis. <laughs> this is something we have to do, whatever the odds say. All right. Not now. I mean, the Duke would have blown all of you up if his plan had succeeded. So, uh, yeah, so much for him being able to, being, being willing to talk to you. Okay, um, I suppose I'll go ahead and talk to the Duke about setting Frank free. Assuming that we go ahead and talk to the Duke and not Frank. Oh, yes. I want to buy Frank's freedom. Frank? The cleric we're holding prisoner? Why do you want him? But I have no more use for him. Oh. Tell him he can go, but he's to carry a message back to Igdadan. Come to Tavar, and you will pay the price. Stay at home in the Hort, and you have nothing to fear from me. Except maybe, maybe the occasional nuke. Go will send him a signal that they should be worrying about Zaykor, not Tavar. Pay me, uh. and you can go. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, he didn't name a price. But I guess I'll just give him all 1,000 shards. For Frank. Huh. Change my mind. You can keep the shards. Just remember how this uh. played out. You've been smart. So don't fuck it up and get in my bad book some other way. <laughs> like I've already done plenty of times? Uh, okay. Sure, whatever you say. Hey, Frank. Good news. I hope. Okay, he's still alive. I almost expected to find him dead. Um, Madison is dead. Oh! Oh, Madison was keeping him. I didn't know that. Although it does make sense. I mean, n not really? Maybe? I don't know. I spoke with Hartmut. You found our group commander? And he spoke to you? To an outsider? What can I say? It must be my charisma. <laughs> Do you want to know what he said? Well. If he trusts you with a message, then my mistrust of you was unwarranted. Please, tell me, what did he say to you? He tasked me with buying your freedom. Then, why am I sitting here? Yeah, Are I don't you know. going to do what he asks, or not? Wait, I already did that. But apparently it was unnecessary this whole time, because medicine has been dead for, I don't know, a week now? <laughs> Two weeks? Shouldn't he have noticed that his, his jailer was gone? And no one was guarding him anymore? I don't know. I've paid the ransom money. You can go. What do you mean, go? Like, I mean, go? Go. Leave. This feels like a trick. You'll pull a bullet in my head as soon as I try and leave. Oh, won't I you? won't. You or Iron Madison. Maybe the outlaws will. Iron Madison has been handled. Nothing will happen to you. 
By the grace of Kalan, I am free. I can go. I can really get out of here? Thank you. I'm going to find my unit. And if I can get back to them, I can get you a reward. Hartmut is a true follower of Kalan. He is certain to pay you back, if he's still alive. So, good luck out there, my friend. Make a land watch over you. Sure, thanks. You too, I guess. Well, yeah. I mean, Madison was actually sitting right, right here. So he was right in her view. Yeah. Oh. I also never noticed how these cells were numbered. Only two, though. Oh, wait, what? three. Back there. Well, there isn't anyone in here. So, I mean, isn't that... <laughs> seriously? Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that just a toilet? Possibly the worst toilet I've ever seen. But still a toilet. Okay, anyway, um... That was surprisingly easy. Oh. This list has been... has become short, hasn't it? Hmm. Well, as usual, I'm gonna... Return over there, even though it's even though the quest is gone from the log. But uh, pretty sure I'm still gonna get some kind of closing dialogue there. Also, of course, I wasn't quite done exploring these uh, these ruins along the road. Oh, I'm also pretty hurt. That one potion didn't really do much to fix that. There we go. There's got to be some kind of more official path leading up to that camp, right? Maybe this will do the trick? Yeah, I guess you can technically walk up here, huh? Assuming this is the right way. Looks like it, though. Yeah, okay. So, did it work? Yeah, okay, it actually did. Not now. Okay, fine. Your man Frank has been freed. And you got him free? I mean, yes. yeah, didn't you talk you to him? You've accomplished what a squad of clerics could not. The least I can do is pay you for the help you've given. I mean, should I mention that I also got to keep the thousand shards? Eh, maybe not. Uh, Frank? 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 Oh, okay. Not now. All right, fair enough. Not now. Glad I was able to help. Okay, let's remove that marker. And uh, yeah, head over in that direction. Although, oh, actually, well, I don't know exactly how much time had passed when I uh, remembered to activate the timer. So it might actually be coming up on an hour. Eh, I'll look around this this place down there. Got some scrap in here. But I don't actually need any money anymore. I mean not any not for anything specific, of course. Having money is always gonna be good just in case. Analyzing. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to complex. pick up. Okay. I'm gonna go out of my way to pick up all the random junk lying around, necessarily. And again, I'm just doing a terrible job dodging enemy attacks. Thank goodness for my good armor. Oh wow, there is actually a relatively extensive underground section here, it seems like. Tons of items. Convenient. Well, kind of convenient. Flashlight, I guess, uh, using my own 
torch. It's going to be a little bit better. Satellite log. Five seventy is providing good pictures. Maintain orbit. Correction to H sixty two's orbit came too close to the atmosphere. M twenty five reported a malfunction twenty minutes ago. Distress call initiated. Delivering unusable data. New data received from IR five seven zero. Data updated into the computer. There was a slight change to the object's trajectory. Recalculated the countdown twice. No serious change. Hmm, are we talking about that comet? Wait, we are talking about the comet, right? The first one talked about the satellite. I was maybe a little bit distracted. Uh, audio log. New data received from IR-570. Data updated into the computer. There was a slight change to the object's, the object's trajectory. trajectory. Recalculated the countdown twice. No serious change. Hmm, okay, it only says object, so it could really... Be referring to anything. Okay, we got more rippers. Dodge! Yay. Also, yeah, so much for the extensive underground area, huh? Maybe not quite as extensive as I first thought. Um, okay, nothing here. I missed a potion or something down there. Huh. Oh well. Not a big deal. Can't food. Oh. Oh, wow. Tricky. Too easy. And that's that. Yeah, I mean, okay, we're definitely over an hour at this point, so I'm going to end the episode here, and next time I suppose we're going to head on over to the ruins of that... Um, oh, almost forgot this plate. Whew, that was close. Uh, yeah, we're going to head on over to... Well, I suppose this here? There's something in between here and these... Uh, dome ruins and then of course we're going to look around this place and see if there's anything more to it other than it being the the site of that one boss fight that we've had I mean ha did we have any other real boss fights? not really so yeah um, we'll see if there's more to it and then I guess we'll return to Zardom and see if he has anything else to uh, to ask us to do. Probably, if he if he does, it's probably going to be something we've already done. So we'll see if we can progress the main story a little bit more. Other than that, oh yeah, I actually something I completely forgot to do is I meant to go ahead and talk to uh, Ray now that we've uh, completed that random work. Well, I don't know, somewhat random. Uh, bounty hunter quest that seemed to really lead nowhere it just ended so maybe now Ray will have something to say about that uh, totally forgot to talk to him but yeah we'll do that next time and see if if anything comes out of that other than that yeah there, I mean there's really not much to do other than work with Zardom and maybe go ahead and talk to uh, Nasty about this field commander business well okay um, among those things we're definitely going to find something to occupy us with, as always. And also, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.